I prefer to use for the pipeline, like where we're tracking all the different deals and different various stages of, of kind of the, the process, but I prefer to use the, the table format. I'm, I'm an Excel guy by, by trade, and I really like seeing everything in a nice, clean <laughs> table uh, where it's easy to read. You can see, you know, as many of the, the different attributes about a company or a deal as, as possible. So I, I added a couple here, but our our pipeline probably is about, you know, 12, at any time, 12 to 15, like active uh, opportunities that are managed in the pipeline. And so like here, we have a couple, you know, company A through, you know, C, whatever, that are in various different phases. So we have some that are in, you know, active negotiations or closing or, you know, about to finish, you know, documents and in preparing uh, integration. So we have like probably about eight, eight or nine different phases that we track them by. And highest priority up top, we always put like what's what's most active, what's most you know currently being worked. And what's I, I think really important and really valuable is to keep track of the notes of for, for all of our senior leadership team that instead of me sending out an email or like a, a PowerPoint every week or you know here updating PowerPoint, which used to take me probably over an hour uh, a week uh, trying to figure out like, all right, what, what are the details of what happened this week? you know, make sure I'm updating all the specific terms of the deal and sending that out to the leadership team. I keep a, you know, pretty robust, uh, clean, you know, table format of our most active pipeline. And it has all the most recent notes and, you know, all the most recent like uh, aspects of the deal. And and that's what goes to our, our senior leadership team. And that's what, you know, they have to be able to log into and see kind of where is everything in the pipeline. And, you know, that way I'm not having to, you know, constantly being, you know, every week, make sure I have to update some PowerPoint or I miss something on the PowerPoint or, you know, different version controls, things like that. So the pipeline has been really helpful for us to be able to track where are things at, you know, overall uh, in terms of what's most active. But then, like I said, we we also have for one of our business units, we have a couple of business development folks that, you know, their sole goal is to bring in, you know, smaller kind of tuck in acquisitions for that business line. And they are actively using deal room as basically their CRM. You know, it's they're they're kind of like enterprise, you know, sales folks, right? Where they track, say, you know, there's there's one company that they've been talking to. So they'll they'll be tracking kind of all all the latest communication uh, with which each with each of the targets. They'll have the contacts in here, they'll upload any kind of preliminary, you know, documentation or things like that for that company. So that anybody when we they have a business unit MA review. They're, they're pulling up that view. I create specific views for different teams based on the different product lines uh, and, and what deals are kind of coming through those product lines. But they'll be reviewing, say, you know, hey, I have company A, B, and C in the pipeline. Here's the latest notes. Here's the description of who the company is. Say what the target size from a valuation perspective, from a revenue perspective. And here's where it's at. Here's where the blockers are. And we're really using the, the kind of pipeline as the full, really the full uh, almost CRM kind of management of of what's going on uh, comprehensively.